What does unstable mean in Jenkins? The unstable build status is one of several possible values for a build result. What it means is that there was an error, but it wasn't fatal. Another way to think about it is that unstable builds are typically less likely to be considered successful, but this does not mean that an unstable build is unsuccessful or broken. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.3, and attached to this controller, I have an agent. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that has all of the examples that we're going to be looking at. Before we take a look at our job, let's take a look at the definition of an unstable build. Again, the build had some errors, but they were not fatal. A build is unstable if it was built successfully, but one or more of the publishers report it's unstable. So let's go ahead and go back over and take a look at our first example. I already have a job that's named unstable, but it really isn't unstable. If we take a look at the definition, what we're using is the unstable step. So I could use this step to mark a build unstable however I want to. And let's take a moment and take a look at the definition of this unstable step. Unstable prints a message to the log and sets the overall build result and the stage result to unstable. And that's all it does. It just sets a message and sets the statuses. So if we look here, what we're gonna do is when we run this job, we're going to print out a message that says forcing unstable, and then we'll see that the build status will also be set to unstable. So we'll click on save and click on build now. And if we take a look at the output of this build, we can see that it's unstable by the icon being an exclamation point. We also see the message with a warning saying forcing unstable, and then we also finished with the overall result of unstable. Now we can tell by looking at the console output that the build is unstable, but let's take it one step further. Let's go back and modify our job, and let's add in a post block for this pipeline. So we'll go right below stages, and we're pasting in post unstable, so we're gonna handle an unstable state, and we're going to echo out another message. So let's go ahead and click on save, and click on build now. Now again, taking a look at build number two, we see that it was forced unstable. We see the overall is unstable, but in our post, because we caught, if you will, the state of unstable, then it also printed out the value of post unstable. Now, setting an unstable step might be useful in some situations, but here's another way that we can also set the build to unstable. Let's go back into our job and we're going to replace everything that we have and this time, what we're going to do is we're going to use the step called warn error. The definition of warn error is it executes the body, which we'll take a look at in a minute. And if an exception is thrown, it sets the overall build result and stage to unstable. So with the unstable step, we print a message and we get both the overall and the stage set to unstable. But with warn error, we're able to evaluate if what we're running is successful or not. And if it actually is a failure, then we're going to automatically set the status of the build to unstable. So in this example, what we have is we're going to do a warn error. We're going to give it a message of watch this and we're doing SH exit zero. So when we do an exit zero, that's actually successful. So let's click on save and click on build now. And what we're going to expect for run number three is that it's going to be successful because when we do an exit zero, the status of that is zero, which is successful. So then everything else that we're running is considered successful. And that's what we see here, that the overall stage is success. Let's go back in and let's modify this step and change exit zero to exit one, which is going to cause a failure. So let's go ahead and click on save and let's click on build now. Typically with an exit one, you expect a hard failure, but because we're wrapping it inside of warn error, it's going to catch that failure and then change the status from a failure to unstable. And that's what we can see here in four. We see our error is marked as watch this. The error is also script returned exit code one, which is what we expected since we did an exit one. But instead of the overall being failed, our overall is unstable. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, 
and we will see you in the next video.